What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing the five Barcelona Champions Campaign Rewards training guide. So we're going to cover the five players in this. We're going to go through them fairly quickly um, and give you the best tips on how to train these guys up to their max versions. Now don't get it confused with their max ratings because you know we'll see with the likes of Pedri he might go to a 95 overall but there is a better version of him there that might not reach 95 overall. So don't ever worry too much about the max overalls that is just a, a kind of a visual thing really right. So we're going to start with Sergio Roberto. Obviously Barcelona winning La Liga have had a really really good season in La Liga and they are the champs joining the Napoli packet that they released as a Champions Campaign reward. Now, you can get three players unlocked here. You get one for a free login, and then there's an event that you get two. So we have got one here, and we will also open that at the end of the video. But we're going to get through this fairly quickly. So Sergio Roberto, he has 31 levels to go. And as you can see here, he can actually play CMF, right mid and right back. I think when we're training him up, we're going to be taking a look at keeping him a little bit more defensive than we usually would for an offensive fullback, even though he is going to get forward a little bit more. But I like the fact that he has 31 levels. I like the fact that he has blocker. It's very kind of rare for a fullback to have blocker. There's only a handful of them that have it. And this guy also has one touch pass as well, being in that really good pass in Barcelona team under Xavi. So yeah, he is a good option to have. I don't know if he's going to be like, you know, a top tier uh, right back if you are going to be playing him that way. I think that his stats are probably better suited to a CMF, but we will show you two different versions of him here in just a second over on eFootballDB. So the first version that we're going to take a look at here is going to be a CMF one. So we have popped 8 into passing and lower body strength, 10 into dribbling, 6 into dexterity, and 7 into defending. That gives us a very average on the ball player. You've got 82 dribbling, you've got 88 low pass for the passing, you've got 85 ball control and tight possession, which is decent. Defensively, he's solid with blocker. He is solid and one touch pass that you'll be able to play him CMF. He does go to a 91 overall in this position. Speed and balance and stamina and acceleration are all fairly average, but for me, you know, that's probably not going to be the best route to go with him. So I would probably take the passing down a little bit. You don't need massive passing. Uh, he does have pinpoint cross, so we will keep that up at the 85 uh, mark. The dribbling, we can take down just a fraction just there as well. The dexterity, I'm probably going to upgrade that a little bit, but I want this guy defensive. So I want to keep his defensive capabilities a little bit better than most center or most right backs that we would usually have. And I'm also going to pop four into aerial strength as well to get him as a kind of competitive as possible or combative as possible. So yeah, just an average right back lads. Blocker and pinpoint cross and an early cross and one touch pass are nice. But yeah, other than that, just fairly average. Next up, we have got Christensen, who we see here. He's got 20 levels to go. And all these players are on A form. Christensen has standard form as well. You can see their form too. Very similar to the card that they released a while back in the Barcelona pack and also to this pack here. And to this one here, this is an identical card that you see here, which was the dominant defenders. So if you have this card, this is an identical card. And they are re-releasing a lot of cards with similar stats for a new entry point for new new uh, comers or new people that are downloading the game. So just keep that in mind. If you have a lot of these players, you probably don't need to spin for them. Even though they are free, you're going to have um, a similar kind of player on your hands if you have these or any of these versions before. Okay, so these four versions, um, the eFootball Pro one, our Championship Pro, the Dominant Defenders, and the Barcelona Club Pack are pretty much identical, give or take one or two stats here and there, right? But he has got interception, sliding tackle, fighting spirit. As a centre-back, he's not bad. I mean, if I'm maxing him out defensively, we are going to get his defensive stats all into the 90s, including 95 tackling and 95 engagement. And then, obviously, we'll just be popping maybe a couple into acceleration. It's not a bad centre-half to have. Um, if you wanted to go that route, I definitely think that he is fairly decent. You can actually get 92 overall if you go with the aerial strength or you go with the lower body. Depending on how you want to train him up, it doesn't really make a difference. We do have 70 acceleration with uh, 79 stamina as well. Tight possession, low pass is good for a build-up, but he's a fairly easy player to train up. You probably don't need to go that excessive um, on the defense stats, and you can kind of train him up a little bit better. I would probably go that route, especially because he's tall. I would probably... Um, how would I say it, like over-enhance his, 
speed or you know whatever way you want to train him up there is up to you but yeah he's just a fairly average center back lads to be fair i wouldn't be getting too excited about him to be honest he's decent but there's a lot of players in his uh situation now we are going to do rafinha and ansu fati very easily here i've also covered these a lot in previous videos um these guys are very similar and very interchangeable right rafinha can play left or right um so that's one thing to keep in mind uh fatty can only play on the left side left mid or left wing right they both have extremely similar stats they both have extremely similar dribbling and acceleration when you train them up they both have the exact same levels they both have very similar player skills um they're both yeah they're both very similar players lads to be honest with you obviously fatty is right foot rafini is left foot you can see there with rafini he's got 84 acceleration and you can see with fatty he as well has got 84 acceleration with 83 dribbling so there as there is a couple of differences in the players but it isn't enough to really um to really get too excited about i would say that rafini is probably a better dribbler on the ball but fatty has got a bit of uh, shooting capabilities compared to rafini so they both are very interchangeable right so i would train them up both in the very same way you're not going to be really passing the ball too much with rafini here so if you take these and you compare the two of them here um, they both have 25 levels with 48 progression points. They're both prolific wingers. Obviously, Fatty is right-footed and Rafini is left-footed, but they've got you know pretty much the same player skills, double touch, double touch, um, acrobatic finishing there for Rafinha, true passing there for Fatty. So they're kind of similar, but still different, right? So just keep that in mind. Now, if I'm going to train enough Fatty and I already have Fatty in my squad, I'm probably just maxing this to about 92 to give us 87 ball control and 87 tight possession, or maybe just go one more to get our attack and our dribbling ball control and type position all into the 90 range i'm going to do the same with the acceleration what i'm really focusing on here is the offensive awareness and the balance i want to get that as high as possible because he's quite light he's quite he's quite weak on the ball um we also don't want to neglect the stamina uh we'll get that to 75 it should be enough for how we're going to play him we're not going to be using him as our main striking option passing we don't really need to worry too much about passing as a prolific winger but we are going to improve his shooting to be able to cut in and get that to 80 overall but we don't need to go to the old whole 80 because we will get the boost with the form arrow so we can keep that at 79 and pop four into that after that lads it's pretty much up to yourselves what you want to do how you want to train him up if you want and my opinion would be to either improve his stamina if you're using him as a starter or else improve his dexterity to get him to 94 overall and have that offensive awareness balance and acceleration maxed the same with Rafinha then right so we're going to do the same with Rafinha we're going to pop you know 10 into that to get his offensive awareness balance up and his acceleration up the dribbling is going to be fairly self-explanatory as well we're not going to get the tight possession as good with Rafinha but his player skills are better I think he's a better dribbler and then we're not going to focus on the passing or the shooting at all even though it's similar um to Ansu Fati there's really no point in shooting the ball too much with Rafinha you're going to be just cutting in and using his blister and pace but he doesn't need to worry too much about stamina so you've got better speed and better stamina Ansu Fati has got speed there but he's got 75 stamina so they are kind of very similar players lads if you're used to playing with Dembele or used to playing with Neymar you will know what you get here and just have another look here right we look at Rafinha here look how identical his card is the one that they've released especially to the Brazilian card especially to the Barcelona club pack and especially to this one they're pretty much identical cards apart from a couple of levels here and there same with Fatty so this legend pack of, of Fatty or this Barcelona ambassador pack are better obviously um but the rest of them are kind of similar you've got the barcelona pack there you've got the derby day pack there that is identical and then you have the e-football club championship one they're all identical cards so if you have a previous version of fatty or any of these players it is going to be a very similar experience now last but not least we do have pedri who's probably the prime pick of these and hopefully we get him now this pedri is down as a creative playmaker which is a little bit of a change okay it's a little bit of a change from what you might be used to um even though he has a lot of different versions um and most of his versions are creative playmaker i still think that whole player pedri who we're seeing on screen here over on eFootball dv this 95 rated player of the week this whole player pedri i think was the best version of him that they released and that's just my opinion but this one of him is pretty decent as well he's got 23 levels as you see there it's Pedri, man. He's so good at getting the ball back, and that is due to his defensive engagement. He also has unwavering form. He's got double touch, one touch pass, sombrero, Marseille turn, cut behind, soul control, true pass, and pinpoint cross and outside curler. He also has incisive run, trickster, amazing run, long ball expert, and long ranger. So he pretty much has everything you could possibly want in a creative 
type player in the midfield. He's not a whole player, so if you're playing long ball counter, that's going to be a slight issue to get used to with his position and stuff. But other than that, he is an absolute monster and definitely one of my favorite players in the game. So we're going to head over to eFootballDB and show you the two different versions of him. All right, so the first version we have of him is kind of, a, you know, a kind of a chase down center midfielder type player. That Yes, you have passing, yes, you have dribbling, yes, you have everything that you could possibly want. We're going to take the dribbling, the dexterity down a fraction, down to 85 acceleration. We'll still get a bit of a boost with that, but we are going to try and make him a little bit more competitive, competitive in the middle of the pitch by giving eight into defending. Now, I think as a creative playmaker, this is probably not worth doing. Um, you're still going to have a lot of... Uh, chasing down and stuff like that you know of how to make this player a little bit better and you do have really good passing as well um with the dribbling but i definitely think you should go the second option with him this is a 94 rated version of pedri and you might say right this guy is a beast this guy's a monster he's 94 overall he's going to get he's going to get max out boost to ball control tight possession low pass all into the low uh or the high 90s or, or maybe or maybe 90 or else like 89 depending on the form arrow and then the balance, the stamina, the speed acceleration, they're all going to get a boost and the defense is going to get a big boost as well. So you're going to be very aggressive in the middle of the pitch from a very attack based creative player to have that aggression is going to help through the middle of the pitch if it's a sticky game. Right. But I think this is the best version of him. It's a 93 rated attack and midfielder kind of style player. OK, he's going to be a 93 overall. But look at the stats. Right. We've got 88 acceleration. We've got 94 balance, 90 stamina. 80 offensive awareness, 91 ball control and tight possession, 88 dribbling and 88 low pass. So when we get the form arrow with this guy, lads, we are going to have 90 or 90 plus in ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, acceleration, balance and stamina, okay, which is huge. We're also going to get a little bit of a boost to speed and stamina, um, our speed and kick and power and curl when we get the farm arrow as well and i think you're just sitting him in as your main kind of player now as i said there is a lot of versions of pedri on the on the game so far this club pack this spanish pack is pretty much identical um this mid-season mvp is identical apart from the lofted pass and better dribbling and then you have this one that we they just released there now so i think just you know you probably have a pedri card even his standard edition is quite decent he's only minus two in pretty much every stat apart from lofted pass so you know you've got 36 levels there if you do not have pedri and you're starting off and you get him he is a, he is literally a game changer for you he's one of the best players in the game that i would use I would say that any version of Pedri, in my opinion, I think as Pedri as a player, I think he's top 10 in the game. That's that's going out on a limb, but I definitely think the whole player is probably top 7. Um, that's just my opinion. He's just an absolute beast defensively, attacking-wise. And with this guy that we're training up, apart from the defense, right, which you can't really get, you could get it if you take down the dexterity a bit. Um, if we go down to 2 on dexterity there and we go defensive, we can't get it that high with the defensive because this player of the week has 80 defensive engagement and his passing, dribbling, and acceleration, speed, and stamina are all kind of the same. So you can't, you know, that whole player was definitely the best version they ever released of him, but this guy is not too far behind, in my opinion, especially with the pace. The acceleration is a huge difference there of four onto this card um, as a creative playmaker, especially if you're playing him AMF. So that is it, lads. A fairly long video, but we've covered all five players of the training guide. I hope it helped you. If it did, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll be back in a bit. Peace.